In my opinion, Python is the easiest language to learn right now. Even if you've been a database admin only, if you've never tried programming in your career, Python is still the easiest language to learn and you can learn it quickly. In this video, I'm gonna show you why you should learn Python, my own Python learning experience, and some online resources that I would like to recommend. So why should you learn Python? If you look at any job requirement, and I'm gonna to try to post some job requirements over here. If you look at any job requirement of especially database positions, Python is mandatory. And traditionally, we've been using shell scripting for automating mundane operational tasks, right? Like, you know, maybe you remember writing uh, a shell script for purging archive logs, or maybe rotating some log files, or maybe uh, taking backups. So you, you get it. So it's not an understatement to say Python is basically replacing all the shell scripting work. Reason number two, Python makes your life really easy. If you think of shell scripting as yellow cab or auto rickshaws for my Indian friends, then Python is like Uber. Python is Uber cool. So what I mean by that is again, Python makes your life really easy. Think of like writing a shell script which will connect to a database, uh, run a query, get some data and then you need to actually store the data in a file and then you need to parse the data and so on, right? So, and then you basically get whatever you need and then you will do something with that data, right? Like send an email, create a report or whatever. But with Python, it's, it's actually really easy. You don't need to do all that. You can just like run a query and there are like pre-defined libraries available uh, which you can use to connect to the database and then when you when you run a query and then uh, the data is readily available or the result set is readily available for you in your uh, in a in a list right and then you can easily like run a loop over the list and then you can do whatever with it like this is just one simple example it makes your life easy so that's my reason number 2 okay. now this is great right so python is easy that's all cool but you might ask how did you learn Python? How did you get comfortable with it, right? So that's actually a great question. So my Python learning journey started two years ago when I started looking for a job change. And then it so happened that like I got an interview opportunity and I that actually was really motivating me to learn Python, right? So I had this interview in two, three weeks and I had to really learn Python. So I bought like a Udemy course for like 10 to $15. And this course is taught by Jose Portilla. And I'll try to post a, a picture of that Udemy course here and I'll leave the, the links to it in the, in the video description. But I, I bought this course and I, like, I kind of immersed myself in that course over the next three weeks because I knew in this interview, I was going to be asked, uh, you know, so a few a few questions on Python. So, so I kind of like I immersed myself into it. Like I'm learning a lot. Uh, I'm doing the practice problems, like which are which comes along with the course, and the the instructor has done a really good job putting these practice problems together. And in a couple of weeks or whenever the interview happened, so there was a round, you know, especially for Python, uh, you know, testing my Python knowledge, right? So, and, but, but it's not like a software engineering interview. So it was more like, like, you know, so they know what to expect from a database engineer. So they know that a database engineer, um, you know, is not, programming as much as a software engineer but then they do expect you to know the basics and then they will throw some curveballs uh, in in the interview and and that's where you need a little bit of luck right like to get through any interview so and I was lucky actually I was able to answer some of you know some of the questions well 
and and the because the the interviewer was also uh, very understanding but the point is actually um, that course helped me go through or clear the interview because until that point i hadn't learned python at all so i go through this course and then i clear the interview now i was expecting that this job will require me to uh, do a lot of python development but but it turned out that uh, initially you know uh, i had nothing to do with python like i was like still focusing on oracle and i was uh, just like doing oracle projects as usual and i i really wanted to take on some python work but for some reason i i couldn't i was really busy uh yeah looking back uh, looking back uh, in retrospect i should have i could have taken more uh, python related tasks and then even during that time and then uh, learned more on it but then like we'll come back to that later but a year in i get another opportunity to join a different team and then i remember meeting this product owner of the team and then he asked me if i can do any programming and then like you know now i had taken this course on and off i go back to this udemy course and also watched a few free youtube videos on python right so i will also leave a link to that uh you know in the video description the one that i the the youtube video that i watched it's a pretty comprehensive course uh but it's it wasn't much like what i do now at all actually but then it gave me a solid understanding of python the basics of python at least so again i i'm moving to this new team i'm meeting my po he's asking me do i know do i know python can i can i take on any python stories actually and i said mm, okay yeah sure definitely because uh i kind of knew i could do it but i've never really done it in real time so this was like a, a breakthrough point actually okay, a turning point in my career uh, i get in and then and i i started learning about this project this massive project where i had to do a bunch of python coding so and this project was to basically orchestrate a uh, data guard so for for people who don't know what data guard is it's actually uh, oracle feature which helps uh, you know with high availability and you can set up like your standbys and your standbys will be constantly catching up with primary and so on i don't want to get into data guard uh, that much in this video but then but the main thing is it was still a familiar thing for me and then i also you know had to like do some python programming to automate things so this is actually like an important point that you guys need to understand so python has like multiple areas right so python can be used for web development like using django flask kind of uh, frameworks python can be used for data science python can be used for machine learning and so on so what i used python is for automation and if you guys are database engineers or administrators or system administrators you will probably end up doing the same thing like basically automation so when you're learning when you are about to embark on a, a journey to learn something you should always keep in mind like basically what are you going going to accomplish like by learning the skill right so for you the focus should be like learning to automate things right and then another important point is i actually got to work on this massive project which helped me to immerse myself in python and it and for the first two three days it was kind of hard because i was trying to figure out like how to uh, design it like what kind of classes should i have and things like that and then my wife who is a who's been a software engineer for many years and she said just like write some code she said like just put some code down and then take it to your peers and then review it 
right which is very simple but then i i made it more complicated complicated than it actually is so but then for the first 2 3 days i was like thinking hard about it then i started coding and then and then ideas started flowing but this time i was like really focused day and night throughout my uh, work hours i was just focused on this actually i didn't respond to slack much any anything like just focus on coding right so that's an immersive experience and this is something i want you to take away from this video right like when you are like trying to learn a skill like if you can jump into like an immersive project like this and uh, it will really speed up your learning process and then at the end of the project you will feel uh, you know much better like about how much you know the skill right like how confident you are in that particular skill i mean like it was for me with python right so after this project i got like very comfortable now i am like Uh, i take on like a lot of python work and then i'm able to deliver it uh well right so so how can you do this in your career right so you can actually uh you know start doing small things like you can take some shell scripts which are doing some automation like let's say generating a report you can create the take the shell script and then you can convert it to a python script and you don't have to wait for any anyone to uh you know you don't have to wait for anyone to give you that work so you can actually uh you know take that initiative right so you can talk to your manager your director whoever right so you can do that and if you get an opportunity to jump into like a, a considerable or a significant project like you know like a two month three month or a six month project which where you need to do a lot of python coding please jump into it right so that is actually um, you know and and trust yourself because we all come from uh, a computer science background right at least if you been working in it for a while so you are aware of things like you can understand variables and like they, you know there are python specific data structures and syntaxes you will learn as you do things like you will learn by doing the coding you will learn by doing it right so that is my first uh, advice to you and the second thing is okay okay now coming to the online resources and other materials that you need right so i already mentioned about the course i took which is an which is a udemy course udemy is like an online course offering website right so it's quite famous uh, if you haven't like come across it already um so udemy i'll put post the link in the video description uh but it doesn't matter it doesn't really matter i took a free course on youtube right which is as as good as this course like this other course but what is important is the practice part right so as you are like learning try to actually you know practice at least like small small problems right so that way you get familiar with the syntax like you know try to actually practice as much right so if you're watching videos 10% of your learning time then you practice in the other 90% so that's that's how the the ratio should be one you know so one 10% should be you know watching videos and reading and 90% should be like practicing right so that is uh, one important thing um well if you really find yourself slacking on your learning then you can go to a website like edureka edureka is another institute and a disclaimer is i'm not like being you know the, i'm not being paid for talking about these courses these are some things that i felt to be very effective in learning so i'm just like you know I'm, i get no money for this uh, but yeah but you can go to a website like edureka and then they provide instructor led online classes which are live classes and then you have to attend uh, a certain number of hours of this class every week and then you will find yourself accountable and then you will learn uh, in a better way you will you will definitely like you know acquire skills that way so try to actually get some accountability by uh by 
getting you know these courses from edureka or any website that provides on, online instructor led courses you know uh, edureka is actually a great website but their courses are slightly expensive like more like 300 dollars to 250 dollars or more actually right so do check them out okay so i want you to understand this thing which is very very important like when you are starting to learn something like i said you should think about what you are going to accomplish and uh, you know how is this skill going to help you accomplish that thing right what's your goal right so when the the process that i told you about like it even though it helped me get through an interview interviews are the hardest part of like you know a career like basically or any anyone's career so preparing for an interview is as a totally different ball game and there are courses available just for that so but but the advice that i gave you is basically when you really want to just learn python and then you want to apply this python knowledge in your day to day job right that is like you can actually if you can take something or if you can create a, a new python script which is automating something very complicated that's actually a, a big value add to companies right so so that's that's the point actually so this is not uh, the advice that i've given you is not for uh, you know being able to clear interviews right so it's actually for applying this python knowledge in your life okay finally a quick summary so if you're thinking about a learning a language especially if you're a, a database engineer database admin or a system admin you need to think about learning python because python is very easy and it's actually required for a lot of positions out there and you might have realized this already this is not you and then try to actually get into a, an immersive project a, an intensive project which will force you to learn the skill like i did with data guard automation right so you know i did that project for 6 months and it totally changed the way i look at python right that's my second second point the third point is like the udemy course that i like you know that is in the description the video description the link you can get there practice as much as possible 90% practice 10% watching videos and finally like you know now this is for basically learning python not actually clearing interviews so that's the quick summary and i hope this was useful to you do you want me to make more videos like this uh, let me know in the comments uh, like the video if you really like the way i'm explaining things if you want me to make something better let me know and if you don't mind share this video on your social media channels and uh, please subscribe thank you